minus 10 seconds. You're listening to News and Movies Radio. Newsandmoviesradio.com Where the world comes to listen. Welcome, you're listening to News and Movies Radio. News and Movies Radio brought to you live around the world every week. Today I'll be talking about the new teenage drama film, The Edge of Seventeen. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss today's show here on News and Movies Radio. For the absolute finest in vintage movie memorabilia, look no further than BuyMoviePostersInc.com. Buy Movie Posters Inc. features an incredible selection of hand-picked original movie posters, lobby cards, and stills from all over the world, with titles from the classic era of Hollywood to the present. Browse our online gallery and email us your want lists as we scour the globe for more hidden treasures. Also, Buy Movie Posters Inc. is always looking to buy quality movie memorabilia. If you have movie material that you'd like to sell outright or consign, email us at buymovieposters at gmail.com. You won't be disappointed. One of my favorite films from last year was Mario Heller's coming-of-age drama The Diary of a Teenage Girl. If you enjoyed this picture and others over the last few years about the pains of adolescence and growing up, then you're sure to enjoy The Edge of Seventeen. The film follows a young girl named Nadine, a charismatic Haley Steinfeld, and her various relationships with family, friends, and her journeys through high school, albeit very much from an adult perspective. Things get particularly tough on her when she finds out her best friend has slept with her brother after a party one night. Seemingly all on her own, her father has passed away from a heart attack a few years ago, and her mother, who thinks her son can do no wrong, Nadine is forced with no other options but to befriend her high school English teacher, Mr. Bruner, a delightful Woody Harrelson for comfort and resolve. Dark humor aside, the thing I love most about The Edge of Seventeen is how genuinely real the dialogue is written and how it brings out all those uncomfortable situations each of us at some point in our lives has run into but are far too embarrassed to talk about. Emma Stone has enjoyed great success in Woody Allen films since her teenage drama Easy A, and I believe Steinfeld would have to be on the short list for his next comedy. The Edge of Seventeen is bold and at times hilariously funny. Certainly a film you don't want to miss. I give The Edge of Seventeen three out of four stars. And that's going to wrap it up for today's show here on News and Movies Radio. You can check out all of our latest movie reviews, interviews, and podcasts at newsandmoviesradio.com. Peace, love, and happiness. Thank you.